2018 was a great year for Grudge 5. We grew from 16 to 75 team members and we trained more than 6,000 people. So we want to show you what's going on behind the scene of Grudge 5 Academy. Let's do this! Hey Regan. Hello Paolo. How are you? Good, buddy. What was the book that you enjoyed the most in 2018? I just read a book called Legacy about the 15 tactics that the All Blacks use to like dominate world sport and a lot of those things are super simple but they actually apply to business as well so that was probably the best book that I read this year. The obstacle is the way and also the podcast The School of Greatness is really good by Lewis Howes. Why? Because he talks to different people from different uh, backgrounds, different fields, and you get to learn a lot of new things. Mm. Mentality, mindfulness, time management, how to tackle your emotions, etc. So it's really good. What is the biggest learning for you in 2018? Yeah, events sometimes is considered as an offline product or old-fashioned. Like, however, I think building events should be no different than building any other products because it should also be data-driven. You test the formats, you do your customer research, you know your target audience as well as run experimentation on it. But also, I think more important, to really track the results of events. doesn't matter if your end product is a conference or you're using events as a marketing channel, like how we do it in Cross Tribe. We wanted to ask you uh, what was the biggest challenge for you in 2018? Mm. That's a good one. You know, the NGO sector, we really want to help them, but it's uh, pretty traditional still to convince them to give inspiration sessions and inspire people. Now, this was my biggest challenge, to get in these organizations and try to give them content and tools and just help them. But we're doing all right, end of 2018. So I wanted to ask you what was the biggest fail of 2018 for you? Uh, I'm working on a nurture campaign for people who we want to maybe hire in the future, um, but maybe the timing isn't right right now. So it takes a little bit of recruitment, but also a lot of marketing. I sent out the first iteration of it so for me, it seemed like it was really great, but then looking and stepping back, so how to explain things further so that people who don't work here totally get it 100% without needing further explanation. What was the place to go for you in 2018 to learn new stuff? For me, the place to go for learning about all the random stuff that's super interesting that will be coming back in conversations forever is a pocket. So it's a really nice tool. You can sign up. Um, and then it recommends all these different types of articles. I know that you work a lot of with DAX. I wanted to know what was the most interesting one for you to learn. Conversion copywriting was the most interesting for me because I was in creative copywriting before, so we all try to do those beautiful sentences, inspiring stuff, right? But people don't get it. So a lot of like usability tests, soft data, and see how you can like uplift your compression rate from 0% to like 80% in 20 minutes is really, really interesting. That's why we call it conversion copywriting and not copywriting or creating copywriting so for me it was really interesting first to learn how to do these things and change my way of thinking which book do you enjoy the most from 2018 oh, I really really like the book uh, As for Secret from Russell Brunson. It really focuses and shows uh, the strategy and not so much on the tools. So it's something that you can study and apply also the medium long term because channels advertising can change quite a lot. But I think funnel marketing, understanding how to create a funnel, how to sell a product is uh, really important. What was your biggest learning from 2018? So I really liked um, predicting the return in of customers. Let's say you can look at the data, how often they are interacting with your software and with your product. And then you are able to find out with a prediction model is actually quite good from, from AI. Who's going to come back, who's not going to. And then you can decide who you're going to try to lure back into your business. What was the working goal for 2018 that you have said at the beginning of the year, I want to achieve that? Uh, yeah, I really wanted to scale our commercial team and also create a more agile sales team. I think the way clients interact with salespeople has changed and we want to embrace it as an organization. Uh, so we implemented an agile uh, framework within the sales team and it's actually working really well. Surprise, surprise. Yes, you are too in. Yeah, what is the biggest piece that you learned in these 2018? I think it's really been about narrowing down my copywriting skills. I think that's the most important thing I've learned because I studied English at university, so I was used to writing in the least really big academic ways, and it's been about narrowing it down, getting your message across, getting people engaged, and just like a few other characters, you've got to grab their attention so fast. Probably the best skill I've learned is just honing that and really making it like perfect. What were your favorite book from 2018? Blitz scaling. I think they they summarized very well the the idea that when you want to grow companies fast, you have to choose between um, being efficient 
and a speed. And they did that in a very scientific way. The book's a good summary of more use cases, you know, how they, they did that in PayPal or LinkedIn, Airbnb, for example. Hey, what was your biggest learning from 2018? I think it's something that uh, the data science team uh, taught me. So specifically Bernardo, uh, to type into psychographic personas for the past, uh, I don't know, eight, nine years. We were targeting behavioral personas or social demographic personas and Bernardo showed me how to tap into personality traits of customers. So tapping into why people buy rather than just who they are. Uh, I think that was the, the best learning, understanding how to uncover these insights and how to adapt your messaging to uh, the type of customer you're targeting. And it's a beautiful mix of behavioral psychology and, and creativity together. What do you want to dive in in 2019? I think it's actually going to be really figuring out exactly what our customers want, exactly what motivates them to purchase our courses. I'm talking more than just uh, figuring out, okay, you want to do a course because you want to learn new skills. Actually, I think you need to dig a bit deeper than that and figure out why do they want to learn new skills. This year, we're starting to see banner blindness at an all-time high. People are having to get more creative, um, more personalized, and uh, I think moving into 2019, uh, even technology become more personal by really understanding their customers and help them build personalized messaging throughout the, uh, the sales funnel. I wanted to ask you, what was the best tool that you used in 2018? It was Zapier in combination with Postman to work with APIs. It became a lot easier to work with APIs in 2018 to work together and the tool Zapier got a lot of new updates to work with different flows and paths, which was super powerful. And also working with APIs with Postman is just a lot easier. That was it for this video. So put some comments below here and please share with us the biggest learning from 2018. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and see you next time.